All right, guys, I got the jersey on and we are ready to go for another video. We have another trade video today. The Buffalo Sabres announcing they have acquired defenseman Henry Yoki Haru from the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for forward Alex Nylander. And I'm just going to give you my thoughts in this video. So my thoughts are this. I think this is an excellent move for the Buffalo Sabres. I honestly, I don't know what Chicago is thinking. You know, I'll be honest. I didn't really know too much about this kid. You know when the trade was announced but after you know looking into him for a little while I just I don't see how this trade makes sense for the Blackhawks you know he's a very young defenseman a lot of promise a lot of top four or maybe even top two potential he's shown he can compete in the NHL he had a short stint in the NHL last season but unfortunately couldn't really last up there once Chicago made the coaching change and then found himself in the AHL for the remainder of the season so he's an exciting addition for the Sabres you know defensive squad he's young and he, you know, he has a lot of potential. You know, he's a right-handed shot. He's a right-handed defenseman. So uh, I think this also means, you know, a Risto trade is pretty given at this point. I expect him to be moved, and he won't be on the team this upcoming season. So Henry, from what I've read, he's a very good uh, puck-moving defenseman. He's young, like I said, and he was traded for someone who, at this point, has been a bust. All right, I had to take the jersey off. It was getting hot in here. It gets hot in the summer. A little too hot for jerseys. But anyway, moving on to Nylander, up until this point, he, he he really hasn't been good. You know, he's not living up to the hype. At this point, I would label him as a bust. You know, three years in the AHL as a former eighth overall pick. It shouldn't take you that long to crack an NHL lineup. And I'm not sure if I've said it in my previous videos, but I really didn't expect him to crack the lineup this season anyway. And, you know, to add to that, Nylander has only played you know just under 200 games in the AHL and has only scored 30 goals you know he just hasn't proved a bunch in his time here and to trade him for a player who has potential who has shown at a young age he can play in the NHL I just don't see how this trade makes sense for Chicago but I guess you know we'll see maybe Chicago well actually I, I'm assuming Chicago sees this as like a Dylan Strom situation you know taking a former high pick player who at the time was labeled a bust you know, turning him into a 50-point player. Will that happen with Nylander, you know? I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it. I I don't think Nylander is, you know, was as good as Strom. And I don't think he'll get 50 points with Chicago. But, you know, who knows? I also, at the time, thought the O'Reilly trade was a good trade. So, you know, we'll see with that. You know, I wish him the best. I don't think he was going to fit in here. Um, so maybe he'll crack the lineup in Chicago and if he does, you know good for him But I think you know this trade really favors with the Sabres, you know, I'm excited I'm, I really am excited to see this team come this season So yeah, just to sum it up, you know, I think the Sabres just Acquired a really young defenseman with huge potential for a guy who wasn't gonna fit in with the Sabres moving forward You know, I really like this trade for the Sabres and you know, I'm excited to see how this plays out like I said, I'm really excited for this season, and I'm really looking forward to this Ristolainen trade, because like I said, I, I'd be shocked if he's on the team this season, so I'm looking forward to see what they do there, and uh, yeah, those are just my thoughts on the trade. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.